What's up everyone? Welcome to the M-W Tactical Channel. My name is Michael Woodland and today we're going to be talking about the primary arms 4 to 14 by 44 first focal plane scope with the R-Grid 2B reticle. <laughs> We are back at it with another review for those who are looking to get some glass on those rifles for competition or just having fun. Before we begin, let's talk about the durability of the scope and debunk what rifles a scope of this class can't go on. The body of this scope is made to withstand a series of bumps, dings, and even a large capacity of drops being constructed from heavy duty aircraft grade 6063 aluminum body and a 30 millimeter main tube. It is waterproof, shockproof, and fog resistant. The scope is perfectly at home on an AR-15 or your favorite hunting rifle. There was a conversation not too long ago where it was mentioned that a scope like this should not go on a 338 Lapua or a 6.5 Grendel. Why not? Just do not let the name or the price fool you. The secret to this will be to get some quality scope rings and or a mount that will have you shooting for years on end with this scope. Let's take the time to go over the parts of the scope to give you a better overall description. Starting at the rear of the scope, we have the diopter ring. This allows adjustment that assists with parallax and the crisp picture you want to acquire while looking at your stadium lines while aiming at your target. Moving forward to the magnification ring, it allows for easy, smooth movement to your desired position. The lower setting of four allows you to see the whole reticle in the scope, but not so much where you can do a precise measurement, but you can clearly see the center horseshoe and the chevron. As you magnify, in my opinion, you can clearly start getting measurements on the 7 setting with more precise measurements as you magnify to 14. Continuing to move forward on the scope, on the left side we come to the illumination knob that also serves as the battery compartment. The illumination knob has the highest setting at 6 with every other turn being an off notch to prevent from going through all the settings. Find your desired liking to the illumination and one click, you're either off or on. The battery compartment can be opened with a coin that actually houses a CR2032 battery that comes already installed from Primary Arms. Continuing on the left side of the scope as you are using it and going forward, you have the parallax and side focus knob. The side focus allows you to adjust for clarity from 10 yards to infinity. Moving on to the elevation and windage knobs, both the elevation and windage knobs are measured in mils that offer an easier approach to zeroing and shooting. You have 10 clicks between each number. To make it more clear, each click is one tenth of a mil, giving you an overall four revolutions with the dial tree with the turrets. Finishing up with the objective lens, you can see the glass is treated and the inner rings allow for you to attach a shade cover if you desire. Now, let's concentrate more on the reticle and what it brings to the table. There are five areas I would like to concentrate on to those who will use this scope. Precision is the game and primary arm has it in a way that takes the guesswork out of calculations by doing the math for you on the reticle. First, the center chevron. This aiming point is so crucial that with this scope, you can go out and zero it to whatever distance you prefer, and the center chevron gives you various options to see your target and hold on it if it is small from distance. A important tool that is incorporated into precision-driven application with this scope. Now, Let's move on to talk about how this reticle allows you to break down your measuring to one-tenth of a mil. When looking through the scope, 
It does not come across as overtaking, but everything is positioned to be welcoming and helps the shooter in various ways. At two mil distance, going from left to right from center, the solid crosshair line begins, using an alternating upper and lower marks forming a mill ranging section. This can be used to range targets using extremely fine one-tenth of a mil increments. At three mils from the center, the half mil hash marks begin. Moving on to the mill grid, this line down the center of the reticle gives you a total of 15 mils for adjustments. In between every mill, there is a dot that represents the half mil mark. This grid also allows for six mils going left to right that assist with measuring to the target, but more specifically for wind holes. The numbers you see going down from two, four, six, and so on, on the outer edge is the indicator of the total mill both down from the center and left or right from center. Numbers eight through 14 represent total mill down from center but the grid stops expanding to the left and right at six mils. To help with navigation of the center line of the reticle, every five mils, the large hash marks are embellished with an indicator bars on the ends, giving them a distinctive barbell shape. And finally, the ranging ladder. When looking through the scope, more to the upper right from the center chevron, you will see a ladder descending from four to zero with distance lines by each number. Putting the target's feet as if they are standing on the stadium line from the center of the chevron is the indicator of where the head makes contact with the line. For example, when putting the target's feet on the line and the head touches the line associated with seven, I know the target is standing at a distance of 700 yards from my location. Remember, we said the line associated with where the head strikes is the distance. But those same lines are measured if you place that line on the chest and the line fits from shoulder to shoulder, that is the corresponding distance in yards as well. Remember, this reticle uses the measurements from military doctrine that uses the baseline of the average height of the male to be five foot, 10 inches tall with the chest measurement from shoulder to shoulder to be 18 inches. Another easier way to get distance measured with this reticle. If you are in the market for a scope that gets you on the target in a precise way without breaking the bank, then take a look at the primary arms 4 to 14 by 44 first focal plane with the R grid 2B reticle that you can get on primaryarms.com for $279. That is a steal for all the technology you are getting with this glass. Their warranty on this scope offers a three-year warranty. For those who are looking to contact me, visit m-wtactical.com. But make sure you go to our Instagram and Facebook and search for m-wtactical to find our page so you can follow us there. If you decide to give me a call at 803-250-1256 and I do not answer, please leave a voicemail or text message. And I promise I will get back to you. Until next time, keep shooting, keep practicing, and have fun.